All right, everybody, how's it going? This is Mr. Bonhomme. Right now, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to round three digit numbers to the nearest hundreds. I'm going to use three numbers as an example. I'm going to use a number bond, and I'm also going to use a vertical number line. These are both really, really helpful when you're trying to round, and it shows why when you're rounding, a certain number will either round up or down to whatever the closest hundreds may be. Check it out. I'm going to go with... 542, I'm going to do 189, and I'll also do 365. Whew, I'm glad we're not in school 365 today. Um, but we're close to 189, close to that. So around to the nearest hundreds, these are three-digit numbers. As ones place, tens place, hundreds place, three-digit numbers. I'm going to use a number bond. And I'm going to decompose these numbers by their place values. Two ones. This has four tens, which is really a 40. This has five hundreds. That five is really five hundreds. So I'm writing that down. This has nine ones. This has eight tens. That value is an 80. And this is 100. So that's only 100. This has five ones. This has six tens, what is really a 60. And then this three hundreds is just not a three by itself, it's three hundred. All right, so we're not done yet because we still need to round these numbers and we're rounding to the nearest hundreds. Watch what I do. Because we're rounding to the nearest hundreds, we know there are five hundreds. So I'm not really worried about the tens. I'm not really about worried about the, the ones place. 189. I'm worried about the hundreds. That's what I'm trying to round to the nearest. I'm going to take out the tens, crossing out the ones. Don't really need it. Don't need it to distract me. 365. I'm going to cross out the tens. 60. I'm going to cross out the ones. Fives. That's what I have left. These numbers are important because it'll be benchmarks when I make my vertical number line. Watch. Vertical, going up and down. Vertical, going up and down. Vertical, going up and down. 542, the 100 that came right before is right here. It's telling me. That's why these number bonds are very, very helpful. This will be my bottom benchmark. The 100 right before 542. 189 has 100 in it already. That's the bottom benchmark. 365 has 300s in it. That's the bottom benchmark. So because we're rounding to the nearest hundreds, what we're going to do is what is the next hundred after our bottom benchmark? So 100 plus 500, 600. 100 plus 100, 200, 300 plus 100, the next 100 would be 400. Good. But it gets a little tricky for kids, so we also want a halfway point. Just so we kind of get a gauge of if a number is closer to the top or closer to the bottom. Half of 100 is always 50. So between 500 and 600, 500, 50. Between 100 and 200, 150. Between 300 and 400, it has to be more than 300. It has to be less than 400. 350. Now, with all this information in this number line, we can plot where these numbers will go. 542 is below 550 and above 500. 542 is closer to 500. 189 is more than 150, but it's less than 200. So it'll probably maybe go around here. So it's going to round up. This is visual proof. This is why it works. 365 is more than 350. So it goes above here. And it's less than 400, so it rounds up to 400. So 542, the 
nearest hundred is 600. 189. The nearest hundreds is 200. 365 is closer to 400. 400. And that is how we round three digit numbers to the nearest hundreds using a number bond and a vertical number line. Number bonds are helpful because it tells you the bottom benchmark. Then you could get the top benchmark, the halfway point, then you could plot where these numbers will actually go. And it has kids explain and see a visual of why it actually works. This is Mr. Bonon. Peace.